What did you make of his the, the tone of his speech? Was it defiant? It, it was absolutely defiant. Um, it was a resignation, I keep saying, with the lowercase r. Yeah, he's stepping down, but he's not stepping down right away. He's staying until the Conservative Party chooses a leader in a leadership contest that will play out uh, over the summer recess. Uh, look, this is a man who said he, you know, he regretted having failed to persuade his colleagues that, as he said, it's eccentric to change leaders at a time of economic crisis. This is a man who really sees himself as a triumphant prime minister who is perhaps victimized, misunderstood by his own party and the achievements, the, the grandiose achievements he made. He won a landslide election victory, let's not forget, three years ago, which is true, one of the biggest landslides in, in, in 30 years or more uh, in his party. Uh, he did. He campaigned on getting Brexit done and whatever you think of Brexit. Uh, he did successfully take Britain out of the European Union. Um, he believes that right now, but he also, you know, he spoke of, and you mentioned this earlier, the herd instinct and, and Britain's political culture. And, you know, when the herd moves, it moves, yeah. he said. So in other words, he's not a man uh, who fell as a result of his own malfeasance, his own misdoing, his own, uh, as, as we heard Benedict uh, talking about, his own uh, uncomfortable relationship to the truth, uh, his own uh, corruption allegations, his own sleaze allegations, his own cronyism, his own incompetence, his own malfeasance. None of that is no. down to the reason uh, he had to go today. It's all because of that herd, that, that herd instinct, that political culture, the stab you in the back culture that was out to get him. So he's the ultimate, in his own mind, the ultimate victim here, a prime minister who was at the peak of his game, if you ask uh, Boris Johnson, getting things done for Britain, delivering uh, on the mandate that the people gave him for Britain and its future, uh, and that this was a move, the last thing he wanted to do, but because of Britain's political culture uh, and because of that herd instinct, he's basically been forced out against his will, against the, uh, the implication is against the people's will. The people would have wanted him to stay. That is uh, how Boris, and we've used the word narcissism, that I guess is really the definition of narcissism, that Britain needed him, that Britain will see that without him things are a lot harder. Best of luck without me was essentially his message. Sad to go, giving up the best job of my life. Uh, it's down to uh, to the uh, you know the cowardice essentially of my colleagues who couldn't see what a great person I was for Britain, what a great success story I was for Britain. They could only see the ill in me. Uh, so yeah, it's it's basically a write off uh, in in his mind. Doug, thank you very much for that. Uh